Alexander Howard Dumble was a one-man operation who personally modified and designed guitar amplifiers for the celebrity musicians and swank studios of his day. So you can imagine how the resale market treats these rare, exclusive guitar amplifiers. That's why I was excited to hear that Universal Audio have taken on the mega task of modeling some of Dumble's most sought after amplifiers, the Overdrive Specials. Once upon a time, I did have access to a Dumble modified Fender Twin at one of the studios I worked at, and at the time I wasn't so informed, so I didn't realize until later that it was modded by him, but I always felt that there was something different and special about that amp in particular. Most notably missing from that twin were any harsh aspects that were present in a few of the other ones that I had used previously. So I am filming this opening after the fact of demoing the pedal myself and writing a little song showcasing it. But now let's go back in time and revisit my first out of the gate impression because if you're like me and blindly jump into the default preset, then you might overlook this pedal and that would be a shame. So let's get going. Okay, so I've got my Stratocaster here in order to give this pedal a level playing field. And let's just jump right into it. This is how the pedal comes from the factory. Ah, so it sort of sounds a little spiky right out of the box. I mean, it does have that beautiful touch responsiveness that I've grown to love on these pedals. They really react like real amplifiers. But I feel like uh, there's an unfortunate default setting on this pedal, meaning that it sounds kind of full range almost, and it's it's got a lot of high frequency content in it. So therefore, rather than struggling to find a tone on my own, I don't know this pedal too well, so I'm gonna go into the presets. There's quite a lot of room, so I'm going to remove the room from most of the preset settings because that will really expose the pedal. And this sounds a lot more like a close mic'd amplifier would. Anyways, thick strat. that one wow let's let's find some clean settings let's keep moving That's nice. Let's have some fun with this. But it does have this more full range flavor than a lot of amps which is actually kind of inviting. 
So if you watched my last video on the evolution of guitar amplifier modeling, then you'll know that the reason why these pedals turned me on in the first place is because they're hardware and you don't have to do a lot of menu diving. The Enigmatic is a little bit different because it doesn't sound like amazing right out of the gate, but I can tell that you can really squeeze a lot out of this pedal. There's a lot of different directions that you can go in. And the cool thing is that you can actually design your own circuit and save that as a preset so you can basically custom make a Dumble style amplifier for each one of your guitars. Let's move over to some of the uh, artist presets. Squeaky clean. Sounds beautiful. Edge of breakup. Again, I'm going to remove that room. It's not many presets. Maybe I didn't download all of them. Sounds cool. This is a keeper. I've already got the Woodrow and the Lion, but wow, uh, this will be all over my recordings. So far, my favorite setting is this Woody single coil. Thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe if you want to. See you later.